hear anything that was often. Tell me when we're live. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all very well. Bit of a rush this evening, mainly due to some bad planning on my part, and uh, in fact, entirely due to some bad planning on my part. You're going to have to listen to me tune the guitar, uh, and then we'll get underway. My wife greets you fondly from the house of Henry. She is on the controls as usual, thankfully. Where would we be without her? Nowhere. Right. So this is our first concert of the year 2022. It's taken some time for me to get to it. I'm very nervous, as you can tell. I shall not burn my hand on the candle. Ooh, that is so good. I can feel it coursing through my veins, easing my troubled soul. Ah, the elixir. Okay, let's see if we can get some guitar sound. Oh dear. Okay, this is not quite the right tuning. Here we go. Okay. Right, I haven't uh, done a huge amount of research into who or what wrote these songs. Uh, mostly humans, I'm assuming, unless there were some very advanced macaques involved. I don't think there were. And so, excuse me. I'm not sure if any of you are aware of this, but cables are extremely good at finding love with each other. And if you have more than one cable in close proximity to another, they will get tangled. So the first song is my wife's favorite song of mine. And it's called Follow the Sun. And it's written by an Australian called Xavier Rudd. And it's a nice calm song. I watched him do it live the other day uh, at a concert where he it was in America, and he spoke a lot about how beautiful. Look over there. That tree's just so beautiful. And that one also. It's also so beautiful. You're all so beautiful. I think he'd had quite a lot to smoke before they began. Anyway, here we go. Follow the Sun by Xavier Rudd. Cherish this breath 
Tomorrow's a new day for everyone Brand new moon and a brand new sun When you feel your life coming down on you Like a heavy weight When you feel this crazy society Adding to the strain Take a stroll to the nearest waters And remember your place Many moons have risen and fallen Long before you came And which way the wind blows What does your heart say? So follow, follow the sun which way the wind blows, which day is done. Breathe, breathe in the air, set your intentions, dream with care. Tomorrow's a new day for every Brand new moon and a brand new sun. Thank you so much. Oh. This early bird, I'm sorry that you're tearing up during that song. I hope it wasn't because my rendering of it was so appalling. Um, my poor wife, of course, she was very tolerant for she married me, which must make her saintly in her tolerance, uh, has to listen to all of these songs being rehearsed. And she doesn't mind this one, but there are others with backing tracks that I do with only earphones on, so all she hears is me singing random lines, often with the electric guitar, and uh, she really has come to dislike profoundly one of the songs that I will do this evening. It's the last song that I'll do, and I'll tell you a bit more about it then. I see my telephone is now making a noise. Allow me to place it upon aeroplane mode. Thank you. Confounding mystery of our times is that I cannot get cellular signal in the middle of Johannesburg. Good. Steve, this lovely scotch is a Shivers Regal, courtesy of, wasn't it? Glen Livet. It's Glen Livet. I'm really good at tasting scotch. It's very nice. I didn't pour it. All right. The next song is a song of my own. And it's called The Fall. And it tends to be the song that is uh, most requested by my vast army of fans who listen to me, a.k.a. my wife. I used to be a fan until this last week, and this is the song that she likes of mine. And for those of you who've never heard it be before, uh, it comes from a time when I was living in the bush at Londolozi, and I was, uh, well, trying to write a song. And I looked at my bookshelf, and the lines of the song basically came from the titles of the books that were on my bookshelf at the time. And uh, I was going through a phase of I mean, I think calling it a conspiracy theory phase would be to be a little bit strong, but there was an element of that. And so I was looking at things like The Keeper of Genesis by uh, Graham Hancock and Robert Baval. Um, uh, there were a couple of things on the Freemasons who I was convinced, well, not convinced, but you know, I was fairly suspicious were possibly running the world. They might be, but uh, I don't, actually don't think that they are. And what else did we have? We had a beautiful book called Garden of Plagues, 
which was a South African book about the time when, just after the s first Dutch settlers landed in the Cape, and they had created a garden there to feed the ships that were going around to the East Indies. And uh, it's a beautiful book called The Garden of Plagues. Don't remember who wrote it. And so that's where one of the lines comes from. There's a line here from The Washing of the Spears by Donald Morris, which is a history of the Zulu people. Uh, so there's quite a lot going on in this particular song. None of it, of course, particularly meaningful, I don't think, in the greater scheme of things. Are you ready? Said the tired soul of a king that's passed To the keeper of the tale that lasts I don't believe that you're listening Said the keeper to the weary soul To the signs in the sky You must hold the secrets of the builder now leaking Where should I be running? Find the breaking dawn light Said the keeper to the soul You must find the code Where Genesis speaks in verses Old times fingers left her markings In the field And all along the desert sands Old Hiram stretched his old hands And in the wind the mystery and sanity of alchemy a talisman must be but then I fell on my back the fires win clear the job and wall the spell I hid my face until the air grew still the sky ran clear, the sun broke through and carried me away. Said the keeper to the soul, can you see my mind? The quantum leaps speak for all time, but I don't think you're really listening. Said the soul to the keeper, you can see I'm tired, so why do you talk in your riddles and rhymes? My view is slowly darkening. Where should I be running? This plague is slowly strangling. In the quiet of a valley, an old black king watched his warriors dance and sing, and he can see his old ways of fleeing and all along the desert sand old Hiram stretched his old hand in the wind the mystery and sanity of alchemy a talisman must be cause then I fell Fires win. Clear the job and all the spell. I hid my face until the air grew still. The sky ran clear, the sun broke through and carried me away. Yes, it carried me away. Yes, it carried. Back the fires wind, clear the job and wove a spell. 
I hid my face until the air grew still The sky ran clear The sun broke through And carried me away Thank you. Thank you so much, Kirsten. The crowd is going ballistic with joy. Thank you for all of you who are A, watching, and B, sending clappy emojis. The reason I'm retuning this guitar after every song is that I, in your honor, uh, replaced the strings today, which means that they can sometimes go a little out after exuberant playing. Very, very good time, Judy H, to say that James's music is now available on iTunes, Apple Music, Deezer, and Spotify. I don't know. It might be. I don't know what Deezer is, really. It's all just a little bit beyond me. Um, it's actually not very hard to get onto these platforms, by the way. Anyone can do it. You've just got to, you've just got to pay a bit of money, and they let you do it. It's wonderful. Uh, right, the next song is the trickiest one for the evening. I probably shouldn't have said that, because now I'll probably make a muck of it. But I'll do my best not to. I watched a film with my good wife. I don't watch films with anyone else anymore, actually. It was an entirely, entirely satisfactory situation. And she said to me, have you ever seen this film about time? And I said, no, I don't want to watch about time. It looks like a sort of sickly sweet rom-com type thing. She said, no, no, you must watch it. And it's got Rachel McAdams, a red-headed Englishman. Don't know his name. It's not Eddie Redmayne. There's another one. Uh, Bill Nighy, who is just fantastic. And in the song, or in this movie, this song appears twice. And it's a wonderful heartwarming, nostalgic film um, that actually, I think it drew a tear from my calloused eye. Uh, certainly listening to the soundtrack afterwards did, if, even if the movie didn't. And this particular one, I actually don't know who wrote this. It was made famous by Ellie Golding, but I don't think she wrote it. And in the, it was performed in the underground uh, of London in this film. And it's called, How Long Will I Love You? stars are above you longer if I can how long will I need you as long as the seasons need to follow their plan how long will I be with you as long as the sea is bound to wash upon the sand how long will i want you as long as you want me to longer by far how long will i hold you as long as your father told you As long as you can How long will I give to you As long as I live to you 
however long you say How long will I love you As long as the stars are above you And longer if I may stars above you longer if I can how long will I need you as long as the seasons need to follow their plan how long will I be with you as long as the sea is bound to wash upon the sand Thank you so much. Did you like that one? It's from About Time, the movie you made me watch. <laughs> yes. That was in the introduction. It's such a pretty song. Yes, I do. Well, no, I shouldn't listen to all your movie recommendations. Okay, so that was a nice, cheerful, nostalgic song. And the next song is not cheerful in the slightest. I don't think it's particularly nostalgic. But it's just a... I, I really enjoy singing this song, and that's the main reason I'm doing it. And it's a Dave Matthews song called Grave Digger. Uh, I warn you in advance, it's not cheerful. This is not a happy song. Uh, I don't know what its significance is, other than perhaps Dave was feeling particularly morose at that period of his life. Uh, so, the Grave Digger. Here it goes. Gorgeous song, nevertheless. <laughs> Grandchildren believe you can live to a hundred and three. A hundred and three is forever when you're just a little kid. So Cyrus Jones lived forever. Grave digger, when you dig my grave, could you make it shallow so that I can feel the rain? Grave digger Muriel Stonewall 1903 to 1954 Lost both of her babies In the second great war Now you should never have to watch Your only children Lowered in the ground Though you should never have to Bury your own babies Grave digger when you dig my grave, could you make it shallow so that I can feel the rain, grave digger? Fall down 
grave digger When you dig my grave Could you make it shallow So that I can feel the rain Oh, grave digger Little Mickey calls in 67 and 75 He rode his bike like the devil until the day he died When he grows up he wants to be Mr. Buddy Go on a flying to be so 67 and 99 to grave digger When you dig my grave Could you make it shallow So that I can feel the rain Oh, grave digger When you dig my grave Could you make it shallow So that I can feel the rain I can feel the rain I can feel the rain Grave digger When you dig my grave Could you make it shallow So that I can feel the Thank you so much. Not a cheerful song, as I said, but a nice song nevertheless. Thank you, Kirsten, for your hearty cheers. Thank you very much for saying my vocals are outstanding, everybody. Now, did he? Grumpy old man, you worked as a grave digger one summer. Well done to you. I imagine it must have been a Difficult time, perhaps? Not sure if it was your first choice of summer vacation work, but good on you. Someone's got to do it, I guess. Stuck in bed, you say your dad was a grave digger. This is amazing. We have a collection of people related or actually engaged in grave digging. I didn't know that... I, I mean, I'm surprised. It's a lovely song, though, is it not? I'm just going to swap guitars... Um, I will disappear for roughly, I don't know, probably two seconds, maybe three. I'm back. Now. This is the bit of my concert that my father dislikes intensely because he has no tolerance for anything that has an electric guitar in it. I'm not sure why. He was born like that. And so, Dad, just hang in there. There are only two songs to go. Hmm? Three or four songs. No, no, this is all I've prepared. Now, the next two, I'm ashamed to say that I, my knowledge of and sort of experience of Paul McCartney's music is very lacking. And I read David Grohl's book during the course of December. Dave Grohl was Nirvana's drummer and then the Foo Fighters' lead, ma uh, lead singer and head, head man. Uh, what do you call him? Front man. That's right. And just totally committed to music in all its forms. I think. I'm not sure how fond he is of Shostakovich, but he's certainly fond of any kind of rock music, pop music. I'm pretty sure he's probably quite fond of classical music too. Anyway, Dave Grohl rates Paul McCartney hugely, uh, with a very, very good reason. He's a Beatle after all. And so I've started getting into some of his music and really enjoyed it over the last couple of months. And so I've decided to cover two of his songs this evening. The first one is not very well known, and it's actually from a project of his that he calls The Fireman, or The Firemen, The Firemen. And this particular song is called uh, Sing the Changes. And I, I really couldn't tell you what it means. Every time I've seen him sing it live, he sings it with different words. Uh, but I just think it's a beautiful song. That's, 
completely simple in its chord progressions. It was much more complicated than I thought it was going to be to put together with a backing track, uh, but it's, this is what it is, and it's called Sing the Changes. And there's a big band behind me. In case you're wondering, um, when I make these backing tracks, I do write all the parts, so I don't download a, download a backing track, because you can do that. I just find that I should uh, do it myself, because then it feels more of me. So every drum beat that you hear, I've written and told the computer which drum to play, and the bass I've done. So it is all relatively authentic. OK? OK. Kirsten, are you ready? Now, this phone gives a lot of uphill when I'm trying to sort out these sorts of things. So I can't guarantee that it's going to work immediately. Ooh. Like the sun playing in the morning Feel the quiet, feel the thunder Have a ladder, it's to heaven Call it ransom, draw a picture Sing the changes as you're sleeping Feel the quiet, hear the thunder Sing the changes, call it over Feel the quiet, hear the thunder
Okay, good. Now, my wife has actually never heard that before. All she's heard is the sort of tinny sound of an unplugged-in electric guitar and me bellowing away in the room next door. And she's never heard that. Um, and she was doing this a bit. So I think it's recovered slightly, this song, to her ear. Although she's only got one earphone plugged in, so she probably only heard half of what she should have. Oh. Okay. Um, what's been going on with my life? I have been trying desperately to sell safaris, which I've managed to do for this year. Uh, we've got some nice trips going to Zimbabwe, to the low felt of South Africa, to Kenya to try and find the black leopard of Lycopia. The black leopard of Lycopia. There are two there, but one relatively guaranteed. And then a lot more trips later in the year to the low felt. If anybody would like to go on a trip, yes, you can come. My wife says she'd like to come too. Uh, July, August, no, August, well, early August. Very good time. And I would like to very much put together six people to go to the migration. Just saying. Anybody out there want to go to the migration with me? Let's go. Okay, five people. Kirsten says she's coming too. <laughs> You will get invited, don't worry. People always invite you, but you have to keep me in the manner to which I've become accustomed. Uh, so yes, that's what I've been doing. And then I've been writing. I handed a book in uh, at the end of March. The editing process is underway, and it should come out in September or October, which is great. And I'm trying desperately to turn the first Year in the Wild book into a script, so for a, a film televisual feast, a film or a series. Uh, so the process is to write the script and then try and take it around to producers who might think, ooh, this would make a, an amusing and uh, um, um, fun film. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, uh, in between <coughs> trying to sort of sell film concepts to various producers around the place uh, with not a great deal of success. Robert, would I do a virtual safari? You mean, uh, yes, I would absolutely do a virtual safari. I enjoy virtual safaris. I did them for five years. I enjoyed them thoroughly. Uh, so absolutely, yes. If the opportunity presented itself and the timing was right, I would certainly do them. Cheryl, do you want to know about my yogurt fight? My yogurt fight was uh, very unsatisfactory. I had no response from any of the manufacturers of yogurt who put things other than yogurt in their yogurt, uh, which made me very upset. Uh, my next target, as you may have heard from my rant about my cell phone, is going to be the cell phone companies of South Africa. So yogurt, unsuccessful. My muesli, uh, what should we call it, crusade, resulted in a 50 rand gift voucher and a corporate letter thanking me for my contribution uh, to improving Woolworths. Uh, the 50 rand, for those of you who don't live in South Africa, is worth roughly $3. $3 for all the pain they put me through. It's not a s tragedy on the scale of uh, many of the world's great problems, but certainly, you know, of a morning, it can be considered a tragedy. Okay. Are we ready for the next song? No, because you don't like it. <laughs> She's shaking her head. She hates this song. For this song, please will you put both earphones in because you need the left and the right channels. Thank you very much. Uh, I love this song, by the way. Again, this is after the Beatles, and this was uh, with Wings. That's what old Paulus was doing at the time, and possibly one of his most famous songs ever. Here we go.
sent inside forever Never seeing no one Nice again Like you, Mama You, Mama You If I ever get out of here Thought of giving it all away To a registered charity All I need is a pint a day If I ever get out of here If we ever get out of here Exploded with a mighty crash As it fell into the sun And the first one said to the second one there I hope you're having fun Band on the run Band on the run Staying a man and staying a Sam For searching everyone for the band on the run Band on the run Band on the run Band on the run Well, the undertaker drew a heavy sigh Seeing no one else come And the bell was ringing in the village square For the rabbits on the run Band on the run Band on the run The Jailer Man and Sailor Sam Were searching everyone For the band on the run Band on the run night was falling as the desert world began to settle down in the town they're searching for us everywhere but no wind never gonna be found oh no band on the run band on the run jailer man jailer sand Searching everyone for the band on the run, band on the run, band on the run, band on the run. She says it sounds much better with the music. I would agree. <laughs> I'm just going to give you an idea of what she's been hearing. This is what she's been hearing. Band on the run. Jada man, Sailor Sam, searching everyone. 
band on the run again and again and again and again for about a month. It took a long time for me to learn the song. Anyway, I'm afraid that's all I've got for you this evening. You've all requested Wars of Friday. Who's all? Okay. All right. But then it's really over. I'm very sad no one requested Band on the Run again. Yes, <laughs> instead you can you can just replay this video. <laughs> I love that song. And I will be playing it again to myself and to anyone else who will listen. Okay. All right, it was a Friday. All about the weekend, the longing for the weekend. And that, uh, I mean, I swore to myself I would never have a job that made me long for the weekend. I've had one since I left school, and mercifully I don't have it anymore. Here we go. Lom shaba, we baba. Lom seven zu pogile, we baba. Le maliangeni, au ngati le livigilinga pela, we baba, we baba. We baba, kunzi magolom shaba, we baba. Lom seven zu pogile, we baba. Le maliangeni. How much is the living in Capella? We baba, we baba. How city was a was a Friday, my darling. Was a Friday, long seven to Pogile. Was a was a Friday, my city. Was a Friday, Langali Mongile. Awe baba, kunzi magulong shaba. We baba, lom seven zu pogile. We baba, le maliangen, au ngati le livigling kapela. We baba, we baba, we baba, sati kem saven. We baba, baba. Find it so far, we baba. Ava big and pinyam. How much you bang up big, that's it, man, and it was so way baba. Way baba. How city was a was a Friday, my darling. Was a Friday, long seven to forgive him. Was a was a Friday, my sweetie. Was a Friday, Langali Mungi Lewena. Now oh, goodbye, I'm going now. Goodbye, I'm going now. Timbola Moning, Timbola Moning, Timbola Moning, Timbola Moning. Goodbye, I'm going was a Friday. Goodbye, I'm going was a Friday. Thank you very much. My wife's doing many clappy clappies. Uh, I must also mention, of course, the superb music shop that is Love More Music in Ilovo, uh, and in fact in Melville, and in fact there's one in Pretoria as well. There may even be one in Cape Town. I don't think there's one in Cape Town. Anyway, Love More Music, 
provider of this magnificent guitar, eh, are the most superb, most friendly, wonderful bunch of people. And, well, and music store, not only people. And if you are living in South Africa, in Johannesburg or Pretoria, and you need any musical instruments, they are fantastic. And also, if you have children at school going age, and they are learning instruments, that's the right place to go to grow and find teachers and books and instruments of the right size for your school going child. One more question. Yes. When is the next one? I don't know. Um, <laughs> hopefully in a month. I'll try and do one next month at the same time. Where will we be? I don't know. I'll, I'll be on safari. I won't be able to do one next month or the month after. I'll try and slot one in on the few days that I'm here. The end of May. Yeah, end of May. Could do one at the end of May, definitely. End of April, I'll be gone, but for four days. I'll try and do one at the end of April, but I'm not making any promises. Uh, certainly another com complex version of Band on the Run is not in the offing. Unless I just redo this one, which I might. Just for my wife. Okay, everyone. Thank you very, very much for joining me. It was lovely to chat to so many of you again. Uh, thank you to my wife for looking after things on that end. And thank you to Love More Music for their constant support. And please go and support them if you uh, need an instrument. We'll see you on the flip side, as they say. Uh, goodbye. End the stream. <laughs> She's just ending the stream. <laughs>